Welcome back to another Latilides tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make an audio wave like this. Like the previous video, this audio wave can also be made very easily and quickly. If you've watched the previous video then you'll know it's also a tutorial on how to make a sound wave quickly. But in this video it will be very different. Without wasting time, let's open Adobe Illustrator. As usual, create a new document with RGB color mode. And for this artwork, I have prepared a color palette that we will use later. You can copy the code for these colors in the description. First, I created the background using the rectangle tool. For the color, I will use the first color, which is dark blue. Select the background and use the eyedropper tool to apply the color. When finished, lock this rectangle, so that we can focus on doing other things without having to be disturbed this rectangle will be selected. Now we will create the sound wave pattern. The first step is we will create a wavy line to determine the path of the wave on the sound wave that we will create. To make wavy lines, you can just use the pen tool, but in this video, I will show you another way to make it happen. This method is easy and effective compared to the manual way by using the pen tool. This step is the same as the previous tutorial, both we start by using straight lines. Make a straight line horizontally using the line segment tool and place it right in the middle of the artboard. Set the fills to none and stroke to white color. To make it wavy, we will use an effect called zigzag. Open the effects menu, distort and transform and click zigzag. In the zigzag panel, put a check mark on the preview so that we can see the results directly. This zigzag effect allows us to create or apply a zigzag pattern to a path, and in this case we will apply it to a straight line. Fill the size to 50 pixel, and leave it at absolute. For ridges per segment, fill with 7. The meaning is that we will make 7 zigzag lines in one segment. In the point column there are two options, namely, smooth, to make a zigzag without corners and corner to make a zigzag pattern with corners. So to make waves with a zigzag effect, then we have to use smooth. When finished click OK. Next, we will expand the zigzag effect on this straight line. Open the object menu and click expand appearance. So this object is no longer a straight line, but instead turns into a wavy line following the zigzag effect that has been applied to it. After that, duplicate this line by holding down the Alt key on the keyboard left-clicking and dragging it up. Release left-click if the position is right. In the Properties panel, click Flip along vertical axis to flip it in the opposite direction vertically. Or you can right-click on the object, Transform, and select Reflect. In the Reflect panel, select the horizontal axis and click OK. Once we have these two wavy lines, we're going to make them wavy randomly. It's very easy. Select one of the anchor points on the wave using the Direct Selection tool, then move it. Do the same with the other mound. Arrange it in such a way that it forms waves randomly. For the other wavy line, we're going to vary it a bit by arranging it asymmetrically. If necessary, adjust the handle so that the waves are not stiff. Finally, you can rearrange it to get the proper shape. For the first stage we have finished. Now we will create the sound wave line pattern. Make a straight line vertically using the line segment tool. Set the stroke to 7. And duplicate this line along the wave pattern. Open the effects menu. Distort and Transform, and click Transform. As usual, put a check mark on the preview. In the Move column, set the horizontal value to 13 pixels. While for copies, we can set it according to the wavelength of the wave pattern. You can directly provide value or hover over the number and scroll the mouse. Or press the upper key on the keyboard to increase the number. Leave everything else by default and click OK. Now, we will cut these vertical lines according to the wave pattern that was created earlier. But first we have to expand the appearance on these vertical lines, so we can cut them. Just open the object menu and click, Expand Appearance. Now, the line that was originally just one line, now turns into many lines according to the given transform effect. 
select all these stripes including the wave pattern. And we will cut the lines that are outside of this wave using the Shape Builder tool. By default, the cursor has a plus sign, it means the Shape Builder tool allows us to unite objects that touch. If we press the alternative key on the keyboard, there will be a minus sign on the cursor, it means we can remove or delete the selected object. Press the alternative key on the keyboard and start selecting all the lines that are outside the wave line. That way these lines will automatically be erased. Actually, the two wave lines that we made earlier, are made as a pattern to determine where these lines will intersect if we cut them using this shape builder tool. Do the same for the lines on the other side until we get a shape like this. Now delete these two wavy lines because we don't need them anymore. Next, I want to make each of these pointy at both ends. Because these sound wave lines are a line path, so we can modify them all at the same time. Open the stroke profile in the control panel overview. And select profile 1. Now, we just need to give it some color. For this sound wave, I'm going to give it a gradient color. Open the gradient panel and set the angle to 90%. For these two color stops, I'm going to color them red. To use this color palette I have provided here, we just need to click the color stop, then click the color picker in the gradient panel, which has the same icon as the eyedropper tool. After that, choose one of the colors in this palette. Then change the opacity to 0%. Do the same with the other color stop. We still need two more color stops. To add another color stop, we just need to move the cursor between the existing color stops and below this gradient annotator, until a plus sign appears on the cursor. And click. Again use the color picker to sample the color. And change the location to 50%. The opacity 50%. Make another color stop here with the same color. Location 52% and Opacity 100%. And we are done for the first stage of making this sound wave. For the second stage, we just need to add additional ornaments to make it more lively. But before that, we should lock this object so it won't be disturbed by the ornaments that we will make later. Make two more wavy lines to create additional ornaments. But this time, I'm not using the zigzag effect anymore because there are other ways for us to make waves other than using the zigzag effect. That is by using the curvature tool. This is not a pen tool, although its function is almost the same, but it is used specifically to create curve lines. And using it is easier than pen tool. To use it, we just need to create a point where we want the curve to start. Just click. Click again. And this guideline will help us to adjust the curve based on the position of the next point. We don't need to click and drag to create this curve. We just need to click, and click. And for this line color we still use the same gradient color as the previous one, so we no longer need to make it a gradient color. Create another wave line in the same way. Make the waves randomly by forming a zigzag pattern. If necessary, you can modify it again by using the Direct Selection tool. For these two lines, we also use a Width Profile 1 to make them appear faded at both ends. Don't forget to also set the stroke to two points. Make another final wave. Open the stroke panel, and set the stroke to 3 points. Select round cap. And put a check mark for, dashed line. For the first dash, fill in 0. And the gap with 5. With the dashed line set like this and adding a round cap, it will turn this straight line into dots. For the last ornament, we just add some small dots randomly using the ellipse tool. And give it a second color in the color palette.
and for the last step is finishing. We're going to make it shine in certain areas, otherwise the color will be more pop up. Create a circle using the ellipse tool and give it a black and white gradient on the swatches. In the gradient panel set the gradient type to radial. And for this white color stop, change it to gold, in the palette that has been made. Open the transparency panel and change the blending mode from normal to color dodge. Place this circle over the specific area you want to highlight. Duplicate for more on another area. And we're done creating this sound wave easily. The rest, you can experiment with this technique. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And finally, if this video is useful, please subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.